Okay, thank you very much for the invitation and uh, the opportunity to present. I sincerely apologize. I was rushing to, to get to a point where I would have better connectivity only to realize there was a power outage. So I'm not able to share my screen. That's why I'm on my, my iPhone, uh, just to try and uh, uh, cover for the time that uh, I've been allocated. My name is uh, Mebo Nangami. I'm an associate professor of health policy and health systems management. And I'm serving as the Dean of the School of Public Health at Moi University uh, in Kenya. We are based in Eldoret. Uh, my presentation is on uh, designing programs for sustainable and functional collaboration among animal, human, and environmental health practitioners. I'm going to uh, present in uh, two phases. First, I'll talk about the rationale and approaches and how we engaged with stakeholders to develop a curriculum uh, on MSC infectious disease and global health. And then I'll give my own reflections on implications for sustainability and uh, dynamics of uh, One Health and how we can uh, uh, grow beyond the current collaboration. The rationale for any program uh, would have to engage the stakeholders in terms of asking the following questions. How many people do we want to train and for what purpose? How do we want to train these people differently using the One Health approach? How are we going to create or intend to create a professional cadre of people who can practice One Health? What kind of support or new approaches are available for us to engage in One Health research? And finally, how are we going to create new leaders or a movement that will address One Health challenges and One Health uh, related diseases in the 21st century? There are several approaches for designing a program. And as Dele has mentioned, one approach would be to focus on short or certificate level courses where you can modify the content of your existing curricula uh, through the in-service in training. You can either mainstream or integrate various content. You can also design standalone courses or even have electives that the learners can take. What I want to address today is regarding a program level uh, program which would focus on postgraduate uh, training. This program was jointly developed by the Afro Hoon Network, uh, under which uh, uh, Dr. Sam Wanjohi uh, is our country manager. Uh, and the specific institutions were Mo University and School of Public Health uh, at uh, the University of Nairobi, as well as Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. The program development, as we all know, One Health is uh, not just multidisciplinary, but transdisciplinary. Uh, it also requires multisectorial and uh, uh, approach in design and development. So in developing our program, we set out, uh, hired a consultant to first of all document the existing uh, literature and what gaps exist in terms of training needs for One Health in the country. We then held a stakeholder workshop uh, in April of 2018 to map out our own understanding as stakeholders, uh, what we really want to get out of this program. Then we held a series of workshops to develop the content between 2018 and 2019 and had a final stakeholder validation uh, meeting in July 2019 to look at the complete program. Since then, each institution, University of Nairobi, as well as Moi University, have then been pursuing through internal uh, institutional mechanisms to have the curricula approved. What did the need, what does the needs assessment uh, uh, indicate? In our curriculum, the needs assessment covered both the training uh, requirements as well as the market uh, survey. We then mapped the required competences. 
we map the required competences in terms of knowledge, skills, and behavior, and align them to the various disciplines, uh, looking at both human, uh, animal, as well as uh, environment. And then we looked at the competences of the graduates who are already in the field because this is a master's program and how we would be able to enhance uh, these competences or improve their performance at their various uh, workplace. And then lastly, we aligned this training needs assessment with the national as well as regional. And we also try to benchmark with the best institutions in the world by aligning our competences to the global One Health uh, competences. The program is a two track um, curricula which focuses on infectious diseases as well as the global health component. We employed the principles of systems approach. We infused leadership and governance, entrepreneurial skills, gender, uh, data science, as well as implementation science. In looking at the syllabus, the most important thing that I want to point out is the learning outcomes, that in developing the learning outcomes of any program, one needs to pay attention to the level, but also the sequencing of these uh, outcomes. In our case, we know that we are dealing with um, students from various backgrounds, uh, both in animal as well as in health that for example, in health, there would be public health, there would be people in laboratory, there would be those from medical sciences uh, and biological sciences and so on. So we had to be careful in terms of lining up the learning outcomes to ensure that we are building from the known to the unknown, but more importantly, spiraling the learning in a way that we build the basic foundations or building blocks towards the specialization for each uh, learner. We also looked at the importance of making sure the learning objectives uh, and outcomes are measurable, understandable, attainable. This is not a very easy undertaking given the nature of One Health and the importance of uh, working across uh, different disciplines to arrive at uh, consensus. We use the Bloom's taxonomy to guide us in trying to understand the different levels, as well as the importance of trying to spiral our teaching uh, and aligning the content to the various learning outcomes. When it came to the content, um, we had to break up in various disciplines or subject matter expert uh, teams to work on the various curricula that we had uh, as or subject areas or topics that we had identified from the needs assessment and the first uh, workshop. And here, each team was supposed to outline the scope as well as the level in terms of uh, uh, learning. I must say also that the content, uh, we purpose to say that about 70% of that content should lead to directly to experiential learning, uh, focusing on research, uh, given the importance of One Health. One Health is not a discipline. One Health is an approach. The other uh, aspect that I would like to mention is the collaboration in terms of the mode of delivery. This was also challenging in the way we try to structure our uh, two-tier program. Our program is, first of all, we have the common courses taken in semester one. And then the second semester of the first year, the students then go into specialization, whether they want to focus on infectious disease or want, they want to focus on global health. And then the second year of the program is uh, specific to research. The teaching methodologies, this is where we get very excited because uh, One Health requires that we are hands-on uh, so we adopted the problem-based learning approach where we are also uh, enhancing experiential learning through demo sites or field placements where students learn uh, through the interface of animal, human, and the environment, such as uh, uh, Impala Ranch or going to other areas where we have the interface with wildlife uh, ecosystem. We also promote team or group-based learning uh, independent study 
And also we promote use of seminars to, for students to learn from each other. In terms of instructional material, again, the collaboration in One Health requires that we draw from different disciplines. So this is not a standard curriculum where you just pick your own area and outline the various uh, uh, core texts or the other materials that you need. So we had to again work in groups to ensure that each discipline is represented in the materials we pick. And also in terms of the experiences, the practical elements, we identified the laboratories that are required, the sites that are required and mapped those to the various competences that we had identified in the course. And finally on assessment, uh, we noted that the kind of assessment required when you're applying a One Health uh, approach to your curriculum is to focus more on the practical aspect as opposed to the theoretical elements. So 70% of the assessment is um, under formative or what you call continuous assessment, field uh, placements and practicums and, uh, and so on. Uh, we also had industrial attachment where our learners would go out for about three months and work within a specific industry of their choice, depending on the specialization. So the summative, the final exam is weighted less about 30 to 40%. So to wrap up, um, program accreditation is important. And as you well know, we do not have um, uh, many international accreditation bodies within Africa or even in Kenya, we are just in the process of establishing uh, such regulatory bodies and even a policy that would help guide our capacity building uh, in the field of uh, One Health as we engage uh, with other uh, stakeholders. So structuring our program to ensure that we have self-assessment we also have assessment that takes account of uh, stakeholder needs in industry, as well as those of uh, regulators. And uh, regulation is very important because most of the professionals involved are already anchored in professional bodies uh, that would also want to know if there is any gain in uh, taking up a course like uh, the one we have developed. So it's important to also stress um, in terms of part of that accreditation, the alumni, and we have developed mechanisms of follow-up and uh, also the labor market to ensure that the competences we infuse and uh, 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 ensure that our graduates are going to perform and perform efficiently and effectively. Uh, lastly, on reflections, to be able to develop a sustainable curricula or program in One Health uh, it requires that you start off with a very clear analysis, gap analysis, uh, the training needs, and also a situation assessment because the economic, the social environment are also important, not just the academic environment. You need clear purpose and rationale and goal why you are doing this and who your target is. You need a clear roadmap on how you are going to engage as partners, as stakeholders, uh, and also map out the end process in terms of what is in it for each stakeholder uh, during admission, during training, and the placement of this graduate. Adhering to regulatory and institutional guidelines is uh, uh, very important. And finally, that partnership and networking essential for the resources you require for program. Any one health program cannot in be implemented in one institution. We have to share resources, laboratories, uh, practicum sites, uh, demo sites and engagement. And so we need MOUs, we need a memorandum of agreement and also tap into existing networks as has been mentioned, the Africa One Health Workforce Academy that's coming up, the ECHO program series and other virtual communities of uh, practice. I would like to thank you for this opportunity for sharing what we have done in terms of developing a program that would uh, uh, use One Health approach to improve our competences in this country. Thank you. Back to you, Chair.